The sheriff's off-road team had the gruesome task Wednesday afternoon of recovering the body of Bobby Camo from a dirt road offshoot on Otai Mountain. The location is known as the BLM Gate, a fork in the road off of Otai Mountain Truck Trail. They used off-road vehicles to retrieve the 48-year-old's body four days after he went missing while on the mountain Saturday for a solo ride. The skilled dual-sport rider apparently took the dirt offshoot and ventured out on single-track trails to a point up above the location where border wall prototypes once stood at the foot of Otai Mountain. Camo Snapchatted this photo to his family around 12.30 p.m. on Saturday and never returned home. The motorcycle itself was actually ridden out of the location and appeared to have little damage, though sources say it was found on its side. Camo worked as a courtroom clerk at the Chula Vista Courthouse, and the day the search teams located his body would have been his 49th birthday. David, it's a grim Carlo, just... That motorcycle had very light damage, a little bit of... Carlo, sorry, Carlo. Sorry. Uh, that motorcycle had a little bit of damage, very light uh, scratches on the handlebars, the type of damage that any motorcycle would have. At this point, the sheriff's department is not commenting on what went on up there. They're waiting until the remains are actually taken off the mountain out of respect for the family and we're just gonna have to wait and see what the cause of death was. David, you mentioned yesterday uh, it was a solo ride. You're in that community, you're a motorcycle rider. Does this just reinforce certain basic safety protocols for you? Well, it's important not to solo ride in remote, rugged areas, and then on top of it, when you go off of the main road onto this single track area where he was riding, then you're really isolated, and that's why it took four days to find his remains, and our sympathies just go out to his daughter, who's been po posting on Facebook, and the entire family and his friends.